Good to have you back. Today's video is about Sony's DWR-S03D slot in receiver and the cross remote function. What is cross remote? What is the benefit of cross remote? What can it do for you? And before we start, if you haven't seen the first three episodes of this series, then click on the link in the description. And as always, if you like the video, thumbs up. If you don't like the video, thumbs down. Write down the comment what I can do better. Subscribe to the channel and have fun. What is cross remote? Cross remote is an RF remote which gives you the ability to control some parameters of your transmitter from your receiver. Sony established this with the DWX series in 2008 and it comes with all transmitters and receivers in the DWX series. There is no extra option you can order as always in. In a normal radio mic transmission situation you have a transmitter which sends out data to the receiver. If you establish a cross remote connection, you can send orders from your receiver to the transmitter and the transmitter change the parameter you have chosen. The technology Sony used here based on a IEEE standard, the IEEE 802.15.4. You know it better under the name SIGB. It's a standard protocol for the Internet of Things. If you use cross remote, it gives you an area from up to 10 meters around your receiver where you can control parameters on your transmitter from the menu in the receiver or if you use a Sony XTCAM camcorder then from the menu inside the camcorder. Okay, let's play a little bit with the cross remote function. Here is the transmitter and the receiver in the status we left it after the last video. And you see on the transmitter the two arrows and the sign which shows cross remote is working. And if you go in the receiver to the menu of the TX number one, which we use, you find also here the two arrows and the three digits which shows the strings of the cross remote signal. If you like to change a parameter, then you choose the parameter. The first parameter in the receiver is the attenuation, which is on 50 dB. Let's have a look on the receiver. Yeah, it's 15 dB. Press the set button for two seconds until the feature you like to change blink. Here is the 15. Change your attenuation and you see at the same moment it change on the transmitter. Press the set button again and it's stored. Let's use another function. Here we have the low cut. It's 40 Hertz. Press the set buttons for two seconds until it blinks. Change the low cut to the value you like to use. Press the set button again and it's changed also on the transmitter. The parameters you can change between the DWR SO3D and the transmitters is the group channel and band settings, the audio attenuation settings, the lock function and the power safe mode. And of course there are some more functions like an active channel scan, a clear channel scan, an automatic setup which you can combine with cross remote. But this is part of the next video. Subscribe to the channel, press the like button, and thanks for watching.